Hoarding disorder is characterized by difficulty parting with possessions, and parting with those possessions causes distress uh, impairment in, in individuals' lives. And uh, this distress uh, manifests in clutter that impairs living spaces. So individuals are, aren't, for example, able to cook in their kitchen or sleep on their beds. And the symptoms of um, difficulty parting with possessions and clutter aren't otherwise um, uh, characterized by a uh, comorbid medical problem. So for example, somebody who has broken their arm um, and can't uh, physically remove objects from their home, that would not be characterized as hoarding disorder. And similarly, not accounted for by another psychiatric um, condition. So for example, individuals with obsessive compulsive disorder may have intrusive thoughts about touching items and fears about contamination. So they may also not be able to remove items from their home, but that wouldn't be characterized as hoarding disorder. Now, hoarding disorder has a prevalence of 2 to 6 percent in the population, and um, it's quite impairing for individuals. They have difficulty with, um, can have impairments in social relationships and work functioning, and that's where it really crosses the line between um, having an interest and passion for objects and crossing the line into a hoarding disorder.